Hey runners, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about transitioning from road running to trail running. I'm Camelia Mayfield and this is Katie. She's gonna be learning some tips today. Thanks so much, I'm so excited. So what kind of gear will I need to get started? Well, the most important thing is a good pair of trail shoes. The biggest differences between road shoes and trail shoes is just the amount of protection and grip that you're gonna get on the trails. I'm running in the Caldera 6. I really like the nitrogen infused DNA Loft V3 cushioning. It provides a really soft, stable ride, but I also feel like I can navigate the trail really well, whether I'm running on super rocky terrain like this or something more like dirt, roots, anything that might come your way. Something else I recommend for trail running is a lightweight vest or pack that you can pack some water and maybe some extra layers in case you might encounter weather. So I've done a few road races and I'd say my pace is between like a nine and a 10 minute mile. How would you say I should adjust that for trails? I'd really encourage you to slow down, listen to your body and just take in views that you probably wouldn't normally get when you're road racing. That's what I'm most excited about actually. So are there any other like obstacles that I should be looking out for on the trails? You can definitely encounter rocks, fallen trees, maybe some stream crossings, and I definitely recommend strength training. And that can mean different things for different people, stationary lunges, squats, or things like hill repeats and interval workouts. Hitting the gym, got it. Do you have any tips for safety when you're on the trail? So just like road running, letting someone know where you're gonna be and when, just in case you return later than expected, you wanna know someone's gonna be looking for you. And I like to carry a phone with me if I'm on a trail that I might not know, so I could call for help. A big thing too though is not having headphones in when you're running because you wanna be able to hear other trail users and wildlife. Out here you can hear nature sounds, birds chirping, it can be really peaceful. Totally. Do you have any tips for avoiding injury while running? Really similar to road running. Be aware of your surroundings. Slow down if you need to. As you get more comfortable on the trails, your pace will naturally increase. So when you're starting out, you might need to walk sections that are more technical. I promise I am not afraid to walk. That is fine. <laughs> Thanks so much for all the tips, Cam. That was so helpful. I feel like I'm ready to hit the trails together. Yeah, I'm excited. Thanks for watching. Make sure that when you're using trails, if you pack it in, you also pack it out. I hope our tips were helpful. If you have any other questions, make sure you drop them below. And for now, we're gonna hit the trail. Let's do it.